Hi, you can heal family. Welcome back to another reading of God's Word. My name is Coach Sheena. Glad you're back with me again today. Now, did I just say glad you're back? <laughs> I guess I'm glad I'm back. Let's put it that way. We are on Psalm 102. Let's see, January 28th, 2022, and June 20th, 2023. We've already read Psalm 100 and Psalm 101 on the channel. So if you want to hear those read by me, go back and look for those in the um, Read With Me playlist, Study With Me playlist. But today we're going to look at Psalm 102, and as we're reading, we'll see what teaching and coaching moment comes up as we start our day together. Prayer of an Overwhelmed Saint A prayer of one overwhelmed with trouble, pouring out problems before the Lord. I'm using the Open Bible, the New Living Translation. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my plea. Don't turn away from me in my distress. Bend down your ear and answer me quickly when I call to you. For my days disappear like smoke. I thought it said many days. For my days disappear like smoke and my bones burn like red hot coals. My heart is sick, withered like grass, and I have lost my appetite. Because of my groaning, I am reduced to skin and bones. I am like an owl in the desert, like a lonely owl in a far off wilderness. This is sad. I lie awake, lonely as a solitary bird on the roof. My enemies taunt me day after day. They mock and curse me. I eat ashes instead of my food. My tears run down into my drink because of your anger and wrath, for you have picked me up and thrown me out. My life passes away swiftly as the evening shadows. I am withering like grass. This sounds a lot to me like depression. Your heart is sick. You feel withered up like grass. You lose your appetite. You're groaning. You're reduced to skin and bones. Some people, when they're depressed, they may lose weight. Some people may gain. You're like an owl in the desert, you know, just alone. And how many of us can feel really lonely at times? And <clears throat> I know for me in the past, I went to this church years ago for over 10 years, and there was many, many people there. And I remember just one day standing there, and I was surrounded by a ton of people, but I felt all by myself. And I don't think <clears throat> that's a bad thing. I think it's normal. But what I've learned, excuse me, <clears throat> let me grab my water, you guys. Hold on. All right, we got to go for God here. And Psalm 42, verse 1, for those of you who are new. Uh, the water is the, the water. Washing of the water, the word, right? The living water. So anyways... I was talking about being lonely and sometimes in that loneliness, let it be instead of it being something that's, you know, you see as negative or not good or making you sad. Use those moments as a time to become self-aware and get to know who you are. Um, I'll share a little thing with you. And five below, if you have that store near you, there's this book in there that has a hundred or over 500 just random questions. So been going through that, answering those. I'm on, I think, 137, question 137. I've been working through it for a while. But you can just answer these random questions about yourself, like what, you know, what do I like to do in my free time? And, you know, what's my favorite leftover was yesterday's question. And just really random things. And you can get to know yourself and begin to like being in the presence of just you. So it doesn't matter if you're in a room with 500 or five, you you always feel comforted by yourself, right? We've got to get to know ourselves. So don't let loneliness overtake you. And and we do know, obviously, that the Lord is always with you because he lives where inside your heart. He's with you all the time. He's with you all the time. But if what the other thing I'd say is if you do feel seriously depressed, go talk to someone, a doctor, or you know, seek the help you need. There's nothing wrong with getting help. I still see a counselor when I feel that I need to talk. And um, I went to psychiatrists and psychologists and nurses and all that stuff for years. So it's really helpful when you're in that space to get the right diagnosis if need be and just talk therapy. And also, too, if you're really shy to it, there's life coaching, which is what I am, where you can <clears throat> just talk and process your life and, 
I feel like you just have someone on your side, right? You're building that team of support around you. So don't be shy to do that as well. Let's continue on with the psalm. We're on verse 12. But you, O Lord, will rule forever. Your fame will endure to every generation. You will arise and have mercy on Jerusalem. And now is the time to pity her. Now is the time you promise to help. For your people love every stone in her walls and show favor even to the dust in her streets. And the nations will tremble before the Lord. The kings of the earth will tremble before his glory. For the Lord will rebuild Jerusalem. He will appear in his glory. He will listen to the prayers of the destitute. He will not reject their pleas. Hmm. The Lord hears every cry, every cry. Verse 18, let this be recorded for future generations so that a nation yet to be created will praise the Lord. Oh, that's good. You know what that reminded me of just hearing that? So the nation yet to be created. I think about our kids. If you have kids or you know nieces, just generations younger than you, the more we straighten out ourselves, you know, get our thinking together and get the healing we need, it's it's we can impact and pour into those younger than us and those um, coming up after us. So it's real important that we get our houses in order. I just, you know, some of you, myself included, can think about how we were raised and, and some of those things that were done or not done, you know, that happened or didn't happen have affected us up until this very day. So how important it is for us now to take responsibility for our own lives and get the help we need so that those coming up after us can have a fighting chance. Amen. Verse 19 says, Tell them the Lord looked down from his heavenly sanctuary. He looked to the earth from heaven to hear the groans of the prisoners to release those condemned to die. And so the Lord's fame will be celebrated in Zion, his praises in Jerusalem when multitudes gather together and kingdoms come to worship the Lord. He has cut me down in midlife, shortening my days. But I cried to him, my God who lives forever. Don't take my life while I am still so young. In ages past, you laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. Oh, that's so good. In the past, you laid the foundations of the earth. The heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you remain forever. They will wear out like old clothing you will change them like a garment and they will fade away. But you are always the same. Your years never end. The children of your people will live in security. Their children's children will thrive in your presence. Oh, how beautiful is verse 27. You're always the same. Your years never end. God is reliable. You can heal family. He is reliable. He is the only one you can count on. He, he stays the same. His years never end. He remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is a sure thing. He's a sure thing. You can go to this word every day and get the help you need. And a lot of times there are scriptures you've already read and you'll read them again and it'll be all new to you. You know, God is an ever-present help in trouble. He's always there for you. He's always there, and he's always the same good, loving God that we all need. So thank you so much for acknowledging him by listening to these scriptures with me today and reading with me today, and we'll be back tomorrow. So thankful for you. And let's see, August 17th, you guys, 2024, we're going to be having our Zoom group coaching call. We're going to be talking about boundaries, but whatever comes up for you, whatever you need, it'll be your time to process your thoughts, your life, information, scenarios, things that are going on, and just get some good um, group coaching. So come on out for that. And always remember, true healing begins with self-love. Why? Because God is love and Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. Bye for now.